Hello friends, welcome back once again in my class. So till now we have discussed cosine law, sine law, uh, similarly projection law and also tangent law. And now today we are going to discuss about the half angle formula given in the uh, third chapter of trigonometry of grade 11 in the syllabus of any way. So actually half angle formula it, its statement has a long range from a to i 3 for sin 3 for cos and 3 for tan so let us see one by one so in any triangle abc sin a upon 2 is equal to under root s minus b s minus c upon bc so where the symbols have their usual meaning so just see over here if you have got any triangle if you have got any triangle a, B, C, whose angles are capital A, capital B and capital C. Then small a represents the length of side BC, opposite to vertex A. Small b represents the length of side AC, opposite to vertex B. And small c represents the length of side AB, opposite to vertex C. So these are the indications of small a, b and c and capital A, B and C. But what does that yes represent yes so you might know yes represents the semi perimeter of the triangle semi perimeter means yes is equal to a plus b plus c gives the perimeter of the triangle sum of all the sides and if you divide it by 2 then it will give the semi perimeter so yes is the semi perimeter of the triangle and yes is given by yes equal to a plus b plus c upon 2 so from here we can get therefore a plus b plus c is equal to 2s. So frequently this relation is going to be used to prove all these statements one by one. So hope you are clear about this. Please note down this point which we are going to use in the proof of each statement. So are you ready? Okay. Let's start its proof. So let us prove first one a number among these three first second and third I will prove any one in remaining two you can prove by using the same process. So first proof a number first proof okay okay so in trigonometry uh, we have learnt many formula, many half angle formulas we have learnt. So among all those, to prove this first one, sin a by 2, let us use the formula of cos a. Cos a is equal to, in terms of sin, it will be 1 minus 2 sin square a upon 2. You might have learned this formula in trigonometry. Cos a equal to 1 minus 2 sin square a upon 2. Which is the formula. So from here what we get is. Or 2 sin square a upon 2. Is equal to 1 minus cos a. 1 minus cos a. So this will be equal to. Or 2 sin square a by 2 is equal to. 1 minus from cos a use cosine law to prove its value. So from cosine law the value of cos a will be b square plus c square minus a square upon 2bc. Okay. So now take the LCM. So this will be equal to if you take LCM 2bc. So it will be 2bc minus b square minus c square and it will be plus a square okay so it will be or 2 sin square a by 2 then from here or sin square a by 2 is equal to so it will be a square minus put this in bracket b square minus 2bc plus c square upon if you make this to bring a downside by cross multiple it will be 4bc okay 
so it will be let me come here or sin square a upon 2 is equal to a square minus it will be b minus c whole square upon 4 bc so this will be equal to open the formula of a square minus b square it will be a plus factorize this a square minus b square a plus b minus c and it will be a minus b plus c okay upon 4 bc then this will be equal to so once again please come over here uh, I had written one relation previously with relation with semi perimeter that was a plus b plus c was equal to 2s hope you remember I had written this relation so from here what will be a plus b a plus b will be a plus b equal to 2s minus c plus c will be this side it will be minus c so in place of a plus b we can write 2s minus c n1 minus c is already over there and also in place of a plus c a plus c what we can write in place of a plus c we can write 2s minus b so in place of a plus c write down 2s minus b and minus b is one only remaining there upon 4 bc so this will be equal to 2s minus 2c and 2s minus 2b upon 4 bc okay so this will be equal to from here take 2 common it will be s minus c into from here also take 2 common it will be s minus b upon 4 bc so it will be equal to 2 to the 4 s minus c s minus b upon 4 bc so 4 and 4 is cancelled out so it will be sin square a upon 2 so if you bring this square on the right side it will be therefore sin a upon 2 is equal to under root s minus c s minus b upon bc okay so sin a upon 2 is equal to the under root s minus b s minus b s minus c upon bc here we have completed our first proof similarly similarly if we have to prove sin b by 2 then open the formula of cos b cos b equal to 1 minus 2 sin square b by 2 and follow the same process for sin c by 2 open the formula of cos c cos c equal to 1 minus 2 sin square c by 2 and follow mm -hmm. the same process in this way you can prove this these three statements at once these three statements can be proved by using the same process hope you enjoyed this video the steps are quite easy and clear thank you very much okay now so a b and c now it can be proved a i have proved b and c you can prove by similar manner now let's prove d number cos a by 2 so if i will prove one the remaining two you can prove yourself using the same pattern okay so from here to here now let me prove d number that is cos a by 2 so again using the same steps we know that uh, in trigonometry you have read the formula of cos a half angle formula so upon that formula in sign now okay so we know that cos a is equal to 2 cos square a by 2 minus 1 half angle formula of cosine so from here now you will get or 2 cos square a upon 2 is equal to 1 plus cos a minus 1 goes on the left side it will be 1 plus cos a so this will be equal to again open the formula of cosine of cos a so you will get 1 plus cos a means b square plus c square minus a square upon 2bc then take the lcm 
it will be 2 BC will be the LCM and here it will be 2 BC plus B square plus C square minus A square. So now you can bring this to downside so you will get or cos e square A equal to B square plus 2 BC plus C square from here to here it will be B plus C whole square minus A square upon bring this two downside and multiply this with this two it will be 4 B C 4 B C then uh, ok come here so it will be or cos e square A upon 2 is equal to just factorize this A square minus B square it will be B plus C plus A and it will be B plus C minus A upon 4 BC. So this will be equal to B plus C plus A means again please come over here. We had written one formula of semi perimeter A plus B plus C equal to 2 years. So in place of A plus B plus C we can write 2 years. Okay. Into again in place of B plus C b plus c what we can in place of b plus c b plus c will be equal to 2s minus a so in place of b plus c we can write 2s minus a so just put it over there in place of b plus c write 2s minus a minus a upon 4 bc so this will be equal to 2s into 2s minus 2a upon 4 bc so this will be equal to 2s into take 2 common 2 is common s minus a upon 4 bc so 2 to the 4 and 4 is cancelled out remaining s s minus a upon bc so from here if you bring this square this here this is or cos square a by 2 is this so bring this square on the right side you will get therefore cos a upon 2 is equal to under root s yes, s yes minus a upon bc which completes the proof so you can see cos a by 2 is equal to under root s yes, s yes minus a upon bc we have proved it now again if we have to prove e number then in place of cos a right cos b cos b equal to 2 cos square b by 2 minus 1 and follow the same process and if you have to prove cos c by 2 f number then you have to open the formula cos c cos c is equal to 2 cos square c by 2 minus 1 and follow the same process hope you got the point you understood every steps ok thank you ok friends now let us prove g number s number and i number so if i will prove g number by following the same pattern you can prove yes and i okay so let us prove g number g number we have to prove that tan a by 2 is equal to under root s minus b s minus c upon s s minus a so for this uh, let us take left hand side left hand side it is tan a upon 2 tan a by 2 so you know the very simple formula of tan that is tan means sin by cos so in place of tan a by 2 we can write sin a by 2 upon cos a by 2. You don't understand? Okay. Then this will be equal to sin a by 2 means we have already derived over here. It will be under root s minus b s minus c upon bc upon cos a by 2 means cos a by 2 means under root s s yes minus a upon bc okay so <clears throat> now in place of two under roots we can write only one square root bigger one and it will be s yes minus b s yes minus c upon bc whole upon s yes, s yes minus a upon bc so bc and bc is cancelled out and remaining this will be equal to under root s yes minus b s yes minus c upon s yes 
S minus A. It is equal to right hand side. Right hand side. Proved. Not so hard. Okay. Here we have proved G number. Similarly, H and I number can be proved in similar pattern. So in place of 10 B by in place of 10 A by 2, write 10 B by 2 equal to sine B by 2 by cos B by 2 and put the values given already in the above statements. And in I number, in place of 10 C by 2, 10 C by 2, it will be sin C by 2 upon cos C by 2. And similarly, sin C by 2 value is here and cos C by 2 value is here. Just put and get the answer. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. It's easy.